Hi everyone, you're welcome to this channel. My name is Faith Afalabia Real. So if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Hit on the notification bell and um, like and share my videos. Thank you. So today I'm going to be talking about something really interesting. I was somewhere during the week. I met a young lady. We got talking about relationships and she asked me a question that really expressed uh, frustration. She asked me, is God really interested in our relationships? You know, obviously she was concerned because she is a child of God and she really, 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 really wants to know the mind of God, the will of God concerning our relationship. So she said, I mean, she has been praying, you know, to know the will of God and you know all of that. But it seemed like God is not even responding. So she was on the verge of concluding that God is not interested in our relationships after all. And then we got talking. I'm sure we were able to nail down some points. And it just occurred to me that there are people out there who are experiencing the same thing. And I decided to do this video just to encourage such people. So the question, why will God not be interested in your relationship? Why? If you are a child of God, definitely God is interested in your life. And your relationship is an important part of your life. Your relationship is so important that it can determine a lot of things about your life. It can determine the way you live your life. So, sure, God is interested in your relationship. But you know, it's not just, it's not enough that I am praying. I am praying to God. It's not enough. You need to do some personal, uh, you know, analysis. You need to, for example, ask yourself, why do you want to get into this relationship? Because it's, it's a general knowledge that when the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Why do you want to get into this relationship? The purpose of it is very important. And there's purpose for everything. Even the marriage you, you, you are praying for. There's a purpose for marriage. The fact that you are single now, there's a purpose for singlehood. And that's another thing. There's a purpose why you are still single. Have you achieved that purpose? I think it's important, it's good for, for us, for you, to try to know the purpose of your singlehood. Fulfill that purpose. And then you can be on the same page with God. Even God knows that, okay, now you are done with this phase. You are ready to move forward. It's just like, you know, in school, until you have passed through a class, you have, you know, written the exams in that class and you have passed the exam. Then you are ready to be promoted to the next class. You are ready to move to the next class. But until... You have done these exams and you have passed them, you you know, you will keep repeating the same class. You will keep repeating the same level. No promotion. So it is very important that we 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 accept the fact that singlehood itself has a purpose. There are things that God expects you to achieve while you are still single. Before you get married and the truth is there are some things that it you know you can you can achieve them better and faster easier while you are still single the moment you are married they won't come to you easy they won't come to you as easy as they will come to you now that you are still single so it's very important that you find out the plan of God for your singlehood first accomplish that and let god know that okay yes you are ready to move on another thing is there is time for everything really the fact that your friends are married does not make it your own time your own turn 
a lot of people want to be married now because their friends are married or because they just want to be called mrs or mr i'm somebody's um husband you know i am married the fact that somebody is married is, is getting married does not mean oh it's your own time to god forbid if you lose your friend your friend you know is dead will you say god is my time too no that is why you need to seek the face of god for you, you know your own timing and in doing that you will need the help of the holy spirit the bible said is our teacher is the one that you know has been given to us to teach us to help us to know better to reveal even things to us a lot of time we are even praying we are praying amiss i remember there was an experience i had with my friend you know we were in a conference and then in that conference you know in one of the teachings we were taught that it is better to pray for others than to even pray for yourself i found it very difficult to you know kind of accept or assimilate that oh you know it's natural to think that with all the issues in your life and you 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 won't be praying for yourself but another person but i experienced it i experienced it i was praying you know at a time for an issue in my life that i was just passionate about praying and all of that and the holy spirit just dropped in my mind that i should pray for somebody that you know a neighbor that we lived together a long time ago I don't know i just started praying for her i just started praying for the family generally and without i, I ended the prayer without even mentioning the issue that made me you know start the prayer and before the end of that week everything i wanted was sorted now the i mean the lesson from this is sometimes the prayer that you are praying is not the right prayer there are some things that you don't even need to pray about you just need to do some things about them and if you really really have the holy spirit working with you if he directs you and you follow the holy spirit direction you will not need to pray about some things including some i mean your relationship sometimes so you need to seek the face of the holy spirit you need the holy spirit to lead you on what to do you may not need to pray or at least not as hard as you are doing it so you really need to be in partnership with the Holy Spirit and you need to be sincere with God a lot of time we say that I'm trusting God for this I'm trusting God for that you know but our the, the totality of our hearts is not on God it's not of God. You see people saying, okay, uh, God, I, they are praying. I want, I want you to come and take all the glory. I want you to, I want your will to be done. I want you to be the one that will oversee this thing. I don't, I don't want to use my own understanding. I don't want anybody to share the glory with you. Fine. We are saying that with our mouth, but in your mind, you're already thinking, okay, maybe I should talk to my uncle. Okay. I think one of my friends, one of my friends will be able to help me. She has done something like this before. He has done something like this before. He has an idea, you know. In your mind, while you are still praying, you are already creating alternatives for God. And don't forget, God will never share his glory with any man. If you want to look up unto God, look up to him completely. But if you want to, if you choose to look up unto, I mean, look down unto man, you can. But if... It's true that we have two highs. We have two highs, two highs. But if your highs are not malfunctioning, you can't be looking up and down at the same time. Like one high is looking up, another high is looking down. No. Your two highs must be looking at the same direction per time. So it's the same thing. If you are looking up unto God, please do it completely let god know that you don't have an alternative to him you are trusting on god completely you are looking up unto him completely 
a lot of sisters even it's very common these days you you hear them say i'm trusting god for a life partner or whatever you want to call it but in their mind they have a brother it happens to brothers too they, they tell you they are praying they want god to you know lead them a lot of that but they have someone in one corner that they are thinking okay if eventually god does not answer the prayer i think i'll just settle with this one and you want god to still answer that kind of prayer i don't know how possible i don't know so let us just check ourselves let's continue to trust god continue to trust god continue to be in partnership with the holy spirit and let god know that you are completely relying on him anyway you need help the fact that we are christians does not mean that we will be strong all the time there are times that you you need help you are weak you feel that you have some weaknesses that you need the help of god with then be open to god be open to god and of course god will definitely help you and i'm i'm joining my faith with yours that whatever it is that you're trusting god for in your relationship in your marriage very soon everything is going to be sorted and your joy and your peace will be full so that's it guys thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.